Lumbini, nestled in the fertile plains of Nepal, is not just a charming town but a portal to the very origins of Buddhism. This sacred site, shrouded in ancient whispers and steeped in religious significance, invites pilgrims and travelers alike to witness the birthplace of the Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama. Queen of Suddhodana, King of the Sakya Kingdom Queen Maya Devi, traveling from Kapilavastu to her parents' home when she felt childbirth approaching. Amidst the vibrant bloom of Lumbini Garden sal trees, she gave birth to the radiant Bodhisattva, a future Buddha. This momentous occasion, in 623 BC, marked a turning point in human history, heralded by a dazzling light that pierced the darkness and tremors that shook the very foundations of the earth. This was no ordinary child. Siddhartha took seven steps to the north, declaring with a voice that resonated through the cosmos, I am the foremost in the world. I am the highest. I am the noblest. This is my last birth, I will never be reborn again. Centuries later, the great emperor Ashoka arrived in Lumbini, his heart resonating with the echoes of the Buddha's birth. To commemorate this sacred spot, he erected a mighty stone pillar, its inscription forever etched in time, here was born the Buddha Shakyamuni. The pillar's inscription also records Ashoka's personal worship and his decree that Lumbini be tax-free, subject only to one-eighth of the produce as land revenue. Lumbini's historical sanctity faced decline after the 13th century AD destruction of Buddhist shrines in India by Muslims. The once vibrant garden became shrouded in the veil of a dense forest, the birthplace of the Buddha hidden from the world. Yet, the whispers of his legacy remained, carried on the wind and etched in the hearts of those who remembered. But in 1896, German archaeologist Dr. Alois Führer stumbled upon a hidden treasure. Beneath the ancient Maya Devi shrine, they discovered a commemorative stone slab, a womb-shaped chamber, and seven layers of ancient bricks, marking the precise location where the Buddha took his first breath. This, sanctum sanctorum, unearthed from the womb of history, resonates with a timeless spiritual power. The location in front of the Ashoka column once held the old Maya Devi shrine. Disassembled in 1995 for archaeological exploration, it revealed the exact birthplace beneath. Archaeologists uncovered a stone slab shaped like a womb atop seven layers of ancient bricks, dating back to the 3rd century BC, identifying the Sanctum Sanctorum. New Maya Devi Shrine, adjacent is the New Maya Devi Shrine, a pagoda-like structure housing a stone sculpture depicting the nativity of the Buddha. The bar-relief portrays Maya Devi holding a sala tree branch, with the newborn standing on a lotus pedestal. Puskarni, the sacred pond, south of the Ashoka pillar lies the sacred Puskarni pond, believed to be where Maya Devi purified herself before giving birth to the Bodhisattva. Couple of Astu, the Sakya capital, Located 27 kilometers west of Lumbini are the ruins of Kapilavastu, the ancient Sakya city identified with the Tilarakat archaeological mound. Visitors to Lumbini should spare an additional day to explore Tilarakat, witnessing the site of the Eastern Gate, the Mahabhanikamanamanam Dwar, Great Renunciation Gate. Where Siddhartha, at the age of 29, embarked on his quest for enlightenment. Three kilometers northeast of Tilarakat, Niglahawa is believed to be the ancient Sobhavati, Kanakamuni Buddha's birthplace. Emperor Ashoka's pillar commemorates the event, though broken into two pieces today. Gatihawa, seven kilometers southwest of Tilarakat, is considered the ancient Kemavati, Krakachanda Buddha's birthplace. Ashoka erected a pillar here during his pilgrimage. Kudan houses the Nigridharam or Banyan Grove, believed to be the site where King Suddhodana offered a grove to the Buddha. Venerable, Rahula was ordained here when seeking his inheritance. The remnants of an ancient monastery's brick foundation stand as a testament to Buddha's time. Lumbini is more than just a historical site, it is a sanctuary for the soul. Walking amidst the tranquil Lumbini garden, surrounded by vibrant prayer flags and the gentle chants of pilgrims, one feels a sense of serenity wash over them. This UNESCO jewel is a thriving center of faith and community. International monasteries, representing diverse Buddhist traditions, line the Lumbini Garden, offering meditation retreats and teachings. If you enjoy content like this, 
consider subscribing to Mindful Himalaya for more videos.